What's up guys, I'm Keenan Van Dusen and today I'm going to show you how to make a laser tripwire with your average laser pointer. To start, these are the parts you're going to need. You can find most of these at your local Radio Shack or online. Next, gather your components and get ready to assemble it. You want to start by taking your Arduino and your breadboard and plugging your photoresistor into it. Take one lead of your photoresistor and plug it into 5 volts on your Arduino. Then take the other lead and plug that into ground through a 10K resistor. On that same lead, take a wire and plug it into A0 or analog pin 0 on your Arduino. This will allow us to take input from the photoresistor. Next, you want to take your buzzer, or piezo in this case, and take one lead and plug it into pin 8 on the Arduino. This will allow us to send commands to our buzzer, which will in turn output a sound from our buzzer. Next, you want to take the other side and plug that into ground. At this point, your breadboard and your Arduino should be completely set up. Now, plug your Arduino into your computer and download the code in the description. Next, get ready to program your Arduino and get it all working. Once you have the code downloaded, you want to take the photoresistor test and open that up. Now that you've opened the code, I'm going to run through it with you really quickly. On our first line we have our data variable which just stores the incoming data from our photoresistor. On the second line we have our pin variable which stores the pin that the photoresistor is connected to. In our setup function we initialize a serial connection between the Arduino and the computer so we can display the data to the screen. Next, in our loop function, we grab the data from our photoresistor and pass it to our data variable using the analog read method. Next, we just have a short 5 millisecond delay to allow the Arduino to process this information. After that, we just print the data to the serial monitor so we can view it and choose what value we're going to set our value variable to. Now, you can upload this code to your Arduino and open the serial monitor. You should begin to see values coming through the serial monitor. Now, take your laser pointer and point it at the photoresistor. Turn it on and off, and on and off again. You should see the values change on the screen. Try to find the point at which the values seem to change, or try to at least find the midpoint between the lowest value and the highest value. For me that was around 900. Next, you want to open up the next code file. This should be titled Laser Tripwire. Now I'm going to walk you through this really quickly. On the first three lines, we define all of our variables. So, on the first line we have our pin variable which just stores the pin. On the next line we have our buzzer pin variable which stores the pin in which the buzzer is connected to. And finally we have our value variable which stores the set value that we gained from our previous data. So for me that was 900. Next after that we have our current value integer. Now this will just store the current value that the photoresistor holds. Next in our setup method we initialize a serial connection between the Arduino and the computer and then we use a pin mode function to initialize the buzzer pin as an output so that we can output sounds to the buzzer. After that in our loop function we pass the value coming from the photoresistor into our current value beta variable using the analog read function. Next we just print that value to the screen for debugging purposes. After that we have an if statement, and in this if statement we compare the current value to our set value, and if the current value is less than our set value, we'll, we will pass a tone or sound to our buzzer, in, in other words, we'll buzz the buzzer. 
Now, this uses a function called tone, and the first parameter it takes is the pin in which the buzzer is connected to. So we just passed our buzzer pin. Then, the next parameter is the frequency at which the tone should be played at, which for us we set to 300. Next we have the duration for which this tone will be played for, which we set to 5,000 milliseconds, in other words, 5, mil, 5 seconds. So now that this is done, upload the code to your Arduino and get ready to test it out. Now that the code is on your Arduino, you should be able to point your laser pointer at the photoresistor and hear no sound. If you release or turn off your laser pointer, you should hear the buzzer go. Now if you point your pointer back at the buzzer, it'll take about five seconds before the buzzer will actually turn off again. Now that this is working, you can now mount this to any place you want. For me, I mounted it to the door frame so that whenever someone walks through, the buzzer goes off. Now, keep in mind that this is just for proof of example or proof of concept. So you could replace this buzzer with whatever you want. You could replace it with some sort of radio transmitter to transmit a data value to another uh, Arduino or system. You could s set this up to send a text message to you whenever someone walks through it or you could set this up to a whole surround sound speaker system through an audio amplifier. It's, there are a whole world of possibilities and this was just to show that it can work, not to show all the possibilities. Now in our next video, or in an upcoming video, I'm not sure if it'll be in the next one, we'll be improving this and we'll be adding a radio transmitter to it to transmit data between two Arduinos and you'll see what I mean in our upcoming video. So, thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.